That's just the uh, the door handle, the button. And okay, we've got an uh, interesting temple here Ooh, with glowing eyes as well. <clears throat> Bring forth four power gems, diffuse them into the essence of the element. Not all of the gems lay under the sky, some of them are buried deep underground. Okay, I do have a gem. Can I put that in her eyes or something like that? No, no, that's not right. Okay, so, um, I do have a power gem. Let me just grab that and let's talk to these other characters, other statues on the wall, and see if they have any, anything to say. He ye, he ye, O traveller of the dark, beware of the elemental shrines. Once houses of light, now refurbished by the masters of the island, the shrines hold the keys to thy survival. Visit all of them, and do what the stone philosophers demand, and thee may be granted a way out, if that is what thee most desire. Okay, be aware of the elemental shrines, once houses of light. Okay, well, I'll be aware of them. This is, this is the elemental shrine of fire. Fire is the ruin of strength, magma, and heat. Northwest is whence the forces of fire are strongest. Okay, so this is the element of fire. So let me actually just write a little note here. Uh, I'm going to put a little note here. Element of fire. Just to remind me that this is the, um, this is the temple of fire here. And um, that may come in handy in the, in the future. I don't know if the power gem has a particular element associated with it. Um, it's just just a general power gem, so it doesn't seem like it's uh, anything special there. So I wonder if I can take these candles. No, I can't take the candles. Um, let's check check the food of these guys. Looks like this guy needs to eat. He's going to eat his turtle egg there. And oh, this guy definitely needs some food. Let's give him some uh, horned fruit. And there we go. And this guy is going to eat. Shall I eat his lizard on a stick? He'll have his lizard on a stick. And the Rattling Rogue looks like he's he's pretty good for food at the moment. Raston the Rogue. Um, so let's keep going. And it looks like we have another gate over here. Um, we've got some, some thick brambles. Can we fight our way through here? There we go. Some looks like a giant cactus or something there. Just going to break these sticks, and we have found some more pellets here. So we've got five, quite a few pellets. The problem is, it does keep on, um, does keep on breaking. Uh, sorry, jamming. The um, it jams quite frequently. There we go. We took him out. Beautiful. So um, we've got a few more brambles over here as well, so let's just take out... Oh, there's another guy! There's another guy jammed, yeah, just, just as I was saying, it jams, um, it just does jam really frequently, uh, that gun, so it's really quite annoying. I suppose if he does level up with it... Oh, there's another power gem in there, how do I open this one? How can I open this gate here? There is a power gem in there. Um, let me just put that on the map as well, let me, let me just... Okay, we got a power, power gem over there. Okay. Beautiful. So, don't know how to get through there. Hopefully that can open up somehow. Uh, not quite sure. I'll keep going. And um, maybe I'll get a clue as to how to open that up in a second. So, um, it's a little bit uh, a little bit confusing around here at the moment. We, we got a guy in there. I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. There we go. Didn't like that, did you, buddy? Oh, miss. Jammed. Of course it's jammed. Okay, Brutus the Barbarian gained a level list. Oh, he died! No! He's dead again! Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. He dies really fast, that guy, Jimbo. Uh, what a hassle. What a hassle having to deal with that. Okay, well, let's explore the rest of this place. Um, Jimbo is just going to have to remain dead for a little while. Um, while I drive around now, I should... Uh, while I drive around... While I drive around, while I have a look around now, I should mention that this is actually on hard level. Um, I have put it on pretty much the hardest setting, just because I thought I wanted a bit of a challenge. I have completed the uh, the Legend of Grimrock, Grim, Grim, Grimrock the, uh, the first game. And this one's locked. Do we have... Hmm... I don't have any lockpicks on me, so I'm not quite sure what I can do. If I can hit it, 
Is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. Let's just take this guy out. Jammed. We can level up as well. Um, I'm just going to use my fire. There we go. Um, okay, Rastan gained a level, and Rastan gained Dexterity plus one. Now, let's see how far I am from the from the entrance. I'm quite quite far away from where I need to go to um, to restore the health of my guys. Um, we can level up though, so maybe we should have a look at leveling up these these characters. Um, let's see, skills. We can level this guy up. Now he's definitely going to need some armor. I want to give him light armor proficiency. So I should probably do that. Um, it increases the protection of armor by 5% for each skill point, and at second level you're proficient with light armor and can wear it without penalties. So let's uh, let's get Brutus um, up in his armor skill there. We're also going to give Ratlan, uh, sorry, Rastan, the Ratling, um, we're going to give him alchemy just so he can make those potions over there. And Lissa the Lizard is, um, we're going to beef him up in fire magic. We're, we're going to get that um, up to mastery, so up to level 5 as fast as we can. So we're going to get him uh, just shooting out those fireballs and just hammering everyone um, with with as much fire as he can possibly get. It's, it's probably, I think it's one of the kind of the most powerful offensive spells, um, at least early on in the game anyway. I'm not quite sure what we're going to find later on in the game, but uh, yeah, the fireball is definitely a good early, um, early level kind of um, spell to use. Um, what do we have over here? We've got some little bits of fire there, and where are we heading? We're heading off to this direction over here. Do I want to head into a new 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 area at the moment? I kind of want to explore what's over here um, first off. It looks like that is going to head off into a new direction. And uh, there is a power gem over here. I'm close to it. I'm close to this power gem, but I just can't quite um, can't quite get through. What's this strange tree over there? Um, let me have a look. Oh, I do see something shining. Actually, is there a... Looks like we have a Okay, okay, this could be good. I think I know what's going on here. Um, let's grab these lock picks. There we go. We've got the lock picks. We're going to be open. Up, we're going to be able to uh, open up that chest that we found, and hopefully this is going to get us into the uh, the power gem. There we go. I think that opened the gate over there. I'm not sure if it opened up anything else, any kind of trap or anything like that. I just have to keep my eyes open, um, and hopefully there's not going to be too many monsters around the place here but yeah we should have there we go yes okay power gem second power gem beautiful now if I remember correctly we need we need four power gems is that right or was it three leather leather suits leather leather suits <clears throat> sand mole hide vest protection plus three Evasion minus five without light armor prof proficiency. So once again, we do need light armor proficiency. Um, I think this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a challenge for us, a bit of an obstacle. Uh, just trying to get that light armor proficiency for all of our characters. Um, now I'm going to head back to that chest. I do have the uh, the lock picks, so we can head back there and um, yeah, we should be able to should be able to open this chest. So let's have a look. Now what's behind the uh, the temple here? So let's go and have a look. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully it's something something good. There we go. Okay, what have we got? We got some boots. They look like um embalmer's shoes. And oh a lightning rod. Beautiful. Okay, that could be quite a powerful powerful item there. Let's have a look at this lightning rod. Shock, special attack, energy cost twenty five, requires concentration one. Hold down attack button to use. Okay, so um, I wonder if you can cast spells with this lightning rod as well, um, if you have it in your hand. It requires concentration one, I think. Yeah, both of my wizards have got concentration one. Unfortunately, this guy's this guy's dead. So um, I might give him the embalmer's. Let's have a look here. He's got protection. He's got just general shoes. Let's give him the embalmer's shoes, protection plus two, because he does have the embalmer's robe. Um, so we'll give him the uh, the uh, Jimbo the embalmer's shoes as well, and uh, hopefully that will keep him from dying in the future. Now we do need to run back to the crystal and uh, heal ourselves once more, and uh, then I think we need to 
explore the rest of uh, Twig Root Forest, I think. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to head back to the uh, to the crystal. Um, let's see, where, where are we going here? Okay, we're going to head down here and see... We have another gate. I haven't, op haven't been able to open this gate. It looks like we open it from uh, from the other side, so we can probably we we'll probably fi find our way around there. Um, we can also head off to the um, to the west. But what I might do first is just run back to the uh, the crystal once more and get my guys um, well get my guys alive again. And uh, because otherwise he's not gonna he's not gonna heal up if I don't. Uh, if I don't bring him back to life, he's, he's never going to level up. In fact, he's behind the other guys now. He's almost leveled up to, uh, to level 3. Um, so he probably just needs to kill one more thing. And I do want to check out this, uh, this lightning rod as well. So, oh my goodness. How'd this guy, how'd this guy appear? It's like uh, the, turtle, the turtles are back again. <clears throat> so we'll have to uh, deal with these guys. Um, at least we do get some more turtle steak, which is cool. Uh, I wonder if, if... Oh, they're all back. Don't tell me they're all back. Um, let's just... Let's heal my guys. Um, save the game. And, uh... Okay, we can use the staff as a uh, weapon. I was hoping that he could still... Um, cast spells with it. So it looks like that's not going to be the case. So... Um, yeah, Jimbo the Third has leveled up. Um, let's get rid of this lightning rod for the time being. We're going to um, put it in his other hand like that. Um, yeah, he can level up now, so we can give him uh, air magic um, level 2. Uh, we can give him light weapons. We can give him armor proficiency, which would be cool as well. We're going to beef him up in uh, air magic for the time being, um, just to make his uh, his spells as, dev as devastating as they possibly can be. And we're going to head back into the Twig Root Forest and continue looking at uh, the left side of, um, of the map over there. So um, we haven't kind of explored down here and over here as well. Um, so it's probably good to, uh, to have a look and make sure that we've uncovered everything. There could be something uh, really important that we're missing. Um, there could be uh, some more power gems over there as well. Um, so what's the best way to get over there? It's kind of the north... Uh, the northwest area that we need to explore. So I'm going to head up to the north here, and then we'll, we'll, ve we'll verge over, veer over to the west. Um, is this? Uh, now we're going to go north once more, and then through this gate here. Here we go. And uh, this is the temple. So we do want to have a look to the the western area here and uh, see what we can uncover. Um, see if there's anything uh, anything uh, worthwhile over here. Don't see any any more herbs. There were quite a few mushrooms uh, that we found early on in the twig root forest, but um, haven't seen too many around the place. Unless I'm missing something. What's over here? This looks like an in interesting, interesting rock formations. And what do we have? What do we have? Uh, we've got who are these guys? We've got some wolves. Uh, I, bet, I bet they're not friendly, so I'm just going to take them out. There we go, and uh, hopefully we can... Oh, gosh. Come on, looks like they're running as well. I think we've uh, we've we've scared them off. They've got the, the, the tail between their legs. Um, we get a bit of meat from it too, a bit of charred meat. Uh, wag meat. Okay, they're wags, these guys, or wags. Um, hopefully you don't find too many of those characters in this forest. Um, we do have a s sign here as well. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. We got another mushroom too. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! 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 Oh, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no! 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 Oh, that was lucky. Phew! Okay, my guys are almost dead there. We're going to have to find a safe spot to heal. Oh no, Brutus is damaged. Let's have a look at what this says. R U Hoko R E U Hu. What? R R E U Hu Ko R E U Hu E. Um, what what on earth does that mean? 
U U U Ho Co R E U Ho Co. It's probably some kind of code. Oak U Ho. Oh my goodness! Do I read it backwards? R U Ho Co R U Ho E. The only difference between these two sentences is the last word there. Um, so. Oh gosh, let me let me check out Brutus. He's hurt his feet again. Reduced movement speed and maximum load. Okay, he's damaged his feet, uh, which is not good. Um, now we have the torch has has run out again. So let's give let's um, get a new torch here. Um, so the last K O and E. Hmm. Okay, I don't really know what that means. Um, I'm just going to have to have a look around. I do want to give the, my guys a little bit of a sleep. Um, probably while it's night time, it's a good idea as well. Let's wake them up for too long. Hopefully it's not going to be dark for too long. And hopefully Brutus is going to heal up uh, fairly soon as well. So he is damaged, uh, which is not not good. He's the, the biggest, toughest, baddest, meanest dude in my party. And uh, he's the one who's uh, gotten himself hurt by a couple of wolves. By a couple of little wolves, so uh, yeah, he didn't didn't handle those too well. But um, I think we haven't been up here to this side over here. I'm so glad we that we do have the map um, with Legend of Grimrock 2. Let me get the uh, let's see. Let me just change this around a little bit so I know what I'm doing. Um, there we go. Let's get my fireball ready, just because I think there's going to be another twig twig monster here. There is a twig monster in there. I saw you, buddy. I saw you, but I saw you in there. Ah, oh, gosh. And I'm just, I'm just gonna stand here and take it. There we go. Yeah, luckily they're not uh, not too bad. These twig monsters. And we got some cactuses here as well that we can we can hit. We can break our way through. Looks like we found the other side of the temple. Is that the same temple? Um. Let's have a look at this temple over here, and uh, yeah, we are at the other side of it here. It's the uh, it's the same temple that we we've been uh, exploring. Um, we've got another blood root blood root blood drop cap over there. Uh, we've got another Zafi robe. I think that could be good for uh, Brutus protection plus two. The tattered shirt is protection plus one. So I might give that. I just heard something behind me. Then I got a bit scared. <clears throat> Let's give that to Brutus. Um, we do have a baton. Um, now the baton is, uh, let's see, requires light weapons too. Um, has a bash, special attack, um, damage 5 to 15 plus strength. Whereas the rapier is 4 to 13 plus strength. Let's, let's use the baton. The baton looks like it's a bit tougher. I am hearing guys walking around behind me, scaring me a little bit. A uh, Zafi Shimag, Zafi Shimag. Protection plus one, and protection plus one. Okay, I can give this to uh, to somebody else. Um, here we go. Let's give this to Jimbo the third, and s see if there's anything else over there. Yeah. So, um, so Brutus has got the baton now. He's a he's a he's a bit of a beast with his baton, and uh, he's pretty tough as well. He's got um, strength twenty. So he's a he's a tough guy, and it uh, looks like we have a, another uh, dungeon heading down. So we've kind of explored most of this area. Not quite sure how to get over here. Uh, maybe the dungeons will, will bring us up through here somewhere. So we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to save the game um, just here, and um, just in case something bad does happen while we're down there. And that is all we have time for. Unfortunately, in this episode, I'll see you all again soon for the next part of Legend of Grimrock 2. Thanks, guys. See you soon.